Alison Varber has also been on the ground in Israel for nearly three weeks, co covering all of this for us. And she's now live at the Israel-Gaza border tonight. Alison, what are you seeing and hearing on the ground tonight? Gabe, we have been in this section of the border just north of Gaza almost for the entire time that we have been here, over two weeks. And what we have heard tonight is by far the heaviest and most sustained bombardment into Gaza to date. We have heard just the constant sound of booms in the area behind us. Gaza is that dark area just behind me for about three hours now. At different points, you'll see the sky light up, a red, orange orange color uh, from inside of Gaza. Uh, as you heard in Richard's reporting there, according to the Israeli military, a spokesperson, it was about 8.15 local time, it's now 2 a.m., when they announced that they were expanding their ground operations into Gaza at about 8.30 local time. That's when we started hearing reports from telecommunication providers inside of Gaza saying they had entirely lost communications, lost all comms. Palestinians Red Crescent has said that this is particularly challenging for them because they say it also means the primary emergency number 101 is not working and that ambulances are having difficulty responding to assist injured uh, people, in, injured individuals. Remember, for weeks now, the IDF has been telling civilians in the northern part of Gaza to evacuate south past the river, but a question that has been posed in recent days by uh, people associated with the UN who focus on working inside of Gaza is what choice really do people have? There are still airstrikes that have been going on in the south. There have been bombings along the main highway that leads to the south. They say people are being told to leave their homes. They're not sure it is safe to go south to drive that way. They're not sure it is safe once they get there. There is no option to leave the Gaza Strip entirely, and they aren't sure when they will be able to come back home. They say civilians have been left with an impossible choice inside of Gaza. And tonight, according to the Hamas's, Hamas's military wing, they say they are engaging with Israeli forces on the ground near the city of Bet Hanun. We're just a few miles from that here, and you can probably hear a little overhead uh, some sort of military jet in the air. We have constantly heard that tonight, military jets, military helicopters, and drones, in addition to those massive bombardments inside of Gaza. Gabe. Alison Barber, thank you to you and your crew, and please uh, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.